back again to answer the most common question which is what will I need to do a full GY6 swap on my Honda Ruckus. Uh, right here we have laid out everything that you will need in order to make that happen. In this video we're going to show you piece by piece what you'll have to do and point it out on our bike right here to show you where it goes. Also we will show you why your stock Ruckus parts will not work with the GY6 swap. So we're going to start, I can kind of show you on the back of the bike that this has a lot of upgrades as you can probably see. And I'm assuming this is what most guys want. So Ryan's going to start off with kind of the motors and tell you the different motors. Right. Next up, first we have two options of the GY6 150 motors. We have here our 11 pole stator already pre-installed motor, which is a little bit more money, but it also comes with eight millimeter studs. It comes with the cap nuts on it. It has the 11 pole stator installed, black CVT cover. Of course, still has your brake assembly done. It also has, if you look up front, the different par valve, which we already installed as well. If you look at this one right here, you can actually see that this is the par valve installed. You actually take it out and put a par valve block on the plate. Or you can go with the 8 pole, which. Alright, so our mic just cut out, so we're just going to show this again. Um, with the 8 pole stator or 8 pole stator motor, the one thing you're going to want to do with going with the ATR harness is upgrade to the 11 pole stator. In order to do so, you will need to get the flywheel puller and you're going to have to install the stator which we have a, another YouTube video on how to install the stator. Also with this motor you're going to need a set of 6mm exhaust studs which you have on our website and cap nuts for the 6mm setup. And for all these parts that we're going to list here we will have the links in the bio so you can feel free to check that out or go to the website. And under GY6150, there's a drop down that shows you the swap parts list. So we'll have it there as well. And the reason why someone would want to go with this motor opposed to the 11 pole, it is uh, a little cheaper as far as cost is concerned. It's the exact same thing. The only difference is it, we take the, you're going to do the 8 or 11 pole swap yourself. Um, so you're going to need the tool and the parts that Ryan had already talked about. So before we dig any deeper into these parts, I'm just going to show you now, while we're working on the motor itself here, why your 49cc Ruckus stuff won't fit over when it comes to the fatty setup. So you may already have a 12x8 wheel on your Honda Ruckus, and you would figure that it would swap over to the GY6. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you why it will not work. For one, this is probably the hub that everyone's using, which is the Kimco hub. And this will be your GY6 axle. Right here we have a short axle, and I'm going to show you why this won't work. So you can go ahead and try to put the axle through, and it's not even going to make it through the hub. Even if it was, the spline pattern is completely different. It's a 22 spline on the 49cc and a 19 spline on the GY6. So that's why it's not going to fit. And also, with this, the lug pattern for the 49cc motor is a lot bigger than what the GY6 hub is. So if I was to take this hub, and you can see where the studs are on the Kimco hub, and put it onto the GY6 motor, it is on the outside rim of the GY6 hub. So there is no way that you could even put holes in this hub to fit that. Also, I'm going to show you why you have to get a new carburetor when it comes to the GY6 swap because I've had questions asking if we could still use the same 49cc carburetor. The GY6 carburetor is a 24 millimeter carburetor. And you can see here, that's the mouth of, this is the Honda Ruckus carburetor and this is the GY6 carb. Now when I flip it around, you'll see it's noticeably different when it comes to the actual back side of the carburetor here. If you tried fitting the 49cc Ruckus carburetor on there, you would run into 
a lot of problems with it running very lean. Um, it's not taking enough air. On top of the plugs are completely different for the auto choke. So it's not going to work at all. There's no cooling. Exactly. All right, next we're going to show you why your 49cc exhaust will not work on the GY6. Um, a lot of you may already have a fatty exhaust like the Ocean Mirror Pipe or the GP style, something along those lines for the 49cc and think it's going to work. Again, just like the carburetor, you can see is going to be very restrictive. It's a very big difference between these two headers on top of just the size alone and then the way that they're clocked to fit around the motor you can see there's a difference. So now that we showed you why it will not work we're going to get back to the rest of the parts and show you what you're going to need. Alright so now we're going to go over all the parts that will be needed to do this GY6 150 swap. Um, on the right here you have the NCY shock which we recommend over any other shock. It's very good quality and they stand behind the product. Um, we use right here the lowdown. We also have in the top there the McCuney fuel pump with two different style fuel pump brackets. We have just the basic fuel pump bracket and it's a little bit cheaper but with going this route you're going to have to find a way to mount your coil because it's going to be hanging and it's a lot of extra wire. Or we have our bracket right here which is your fuel pump and coil bracket. Now with this your coil is already mounted and it's included. It's free with the bracket and it's going to keep be a lot cleaner look for when you're doing your swap. Right underneath it we have the hub, the short axle, and the gasket. That hub is our Danmax hub. We have our short axle here along with the axle nut and the gasket for when you're doing the swap. Those are all needed for when you're doing the short axle. And over here we have our 24 millimeter carburetor which we showed you why you will need along with the 1.75 straight filter which is the filter that you will use to put directly on that carburetor. Now remember too a lot of people ask about the red part you can take that off as you can probably see here it's just a pre-filter and you can remove that it comes right out if you don't want that big bulky uh, filter. We'll get right back to the parts now. Next up we have the ATR harness which we've done a three-piece video on installing along with the 11 pole stator if you need it for that 8 pole motor that you get if you have the 11 pole motor you don't have to worry about that on the left now we have the GY6 150cc engine mount this is also going to stretch the motor back 12 inches and then give you that offset with the motor to align your wheel to be straight with the frame you may have that mount already for the 49cc ruckus but unfortunately the motor will not work with that mount and you'll have to go with the GY6 150cc mount. The only thing that you can probably use if you still have it is the shock. The shock will be the same if you have a fatty already. Um, your stock shock will not work because once you stretch your motor it's going to be very very soft because you're putting a large angle on it. Next up we're going to go over the uh, wheels. This is your standard Douglas 12 by 8 4x110 lug pattern wheel which is for the GY6 150cc motor. With this we have many other different options. This one comes with the TRS hubcap which we showed you uh, previously in the video here. We have one piece wheels and two piece wheels for this GY6 engine. You can just go on our website and select the drop down and I'll show you the many different options. Next up we're going to go over the tires. We have the Avon Viper which is a 140-70-12 along with the Michelin Power Pure, which is also a 140-70-12 tire. Both of those are going to be your best bet for mounting onto that wheel. And as you can see, the tire is smaller than the wheel. It does fit. Well, as you can see right here, it will have to be stretched on using a Cheetah Blaster uh, or taking it to a professional to mount the tire and stretch it onto the rim. Next up we have the cables you're going to need. For this setup, with lowered handlebars we're assuming, you're going to use a plus 6 brake cable from NCY along with a 75 inch throttle cable for a CVK style carb. If you have stock handlebars, you're going to want to go with a bigger brake cable which is usually like the 90 inch along with a 85 inch throttle cable which we have on our website as well. 
and then we'll move our way over to exhaust. Right here we have the Yoshimura Carbon V2, uh, which we showed you a video on how to do the install, and we also have many other videos on our web YouTube site showing you how to install the different exhausts, like the stainless steel one as well. We have on the website probably about six, seven different custom exhausts for the Honda Ruckus uh, GY6 swap. If, if you see this exhaust, um, that's probably the most popular one. The types of exhaust and the type of wheel is what's going to determine the cost of your build. So a lot of people ask us, well, why don't you just have a GY6 kit in a box? And the reason why that is is because not everyone wants to have the same exhaust or the same back wheel or the same tire. So we give you your options. Um, we don't put drop downs because we can't compensate for what's in stock and what's not in stock by doing drop downs. Um, as you all know, or if you don't know, we only ship what we have in stock. So we have an odd different exhaust. We chose this one because this is the most popular fatty exhaust that performs very well, but there are others on our website and we'll put the link uh, on the description of this video below so you can actually see the different types of exhaust as well as the different type of wheels. All right, this is everything that you're gonna need to make that basic GY6 swap happen. Hopefully this helps answer some questions and uh, alleviate any why something works, why you can't use your get 49cc parts. This is pretty much a tutorial and we will put on the description of the video the hyperlinks uh, of all the parts. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and keep watching for more videos. Thanks.